Evergreen Elementary students were scientists for a day, exhibiting hundreds of science projects at the school's ninth annual science fair. Second grader Kira Ross said her project was to determine if color affects taste. We dyed the apple juice red and blue and then it, one was the same. Then we tested it on people. Kira's fellow team member Fabian Morales helped collect data for the color versus taste test. I like most the, I got to write information about it. Evergreen Elementary Principal Adina Brito said some 550 students in kindergarten through fifth grade put together science projects. That's why the school's gym was packed. Brito explained what the science fair is all about. The entire school is involved and so what happens is that um, starting in kindergarten and first grade the students do class projects and uh, by third grade they work in little teams of four, about four students, and then fourth grade they do it in pairs and in fifth grade each student does their very own project. Okay. So a big part of today is to be able to explain their thinking to community members. So that involves having confidence, um, it involves them knowing the material well enough and having speaking capabilities, uh, which is a really important skill for the 21st century. Community representatives judged the projects, including Shelton Police Chief Darren Moody, plus Jeff Slakey and Carol Gardner, Daybreak hosts at i One News Radio. Brito explained how the work of fourth and fifth graders differs from the younger students. Fourth and fifth grade does more at an independent level, and uh, fifth grade takes, the majority of fifth grade takes their science to the Mason County Science Fair. Evergreen fifth grader LaFabiana Washington talked about her science project. The title is Melting the Rainbow and I, pre I predicted that, no, it's how the, how the color affects if it changes how I melted and I predicted that the black would melt the fastest. Black um, absorbs the heat more and yellow um, doesn't that much. Fifth grader Gustavo Morales experimented with different soccer balls. So I picked this project because I I'm in love with soccer. I like to do experiments with the balls. And I was checking which which brand is the best ball to like play with. Brito credited Evergreen's teachers for taking the lead and overseeing their students' projects. Well, the teachers are the they're the ones in charge. It's, it wouldn't happen without the teachers. They're really dedicated. I'm Jeff Chu for i 5 one News. Some people want to know how to grow plants better. 